all the ICP team and all authors. Um, <clears throat> I believe that uh, no one is available to present the first paper uh, during an uh, inter-school programming context. Uh, Rui Figueiredo, Barbara Cleto, or José Cerqueira, someone here? Nope. Nope. So, um, we will start with the second uh, presentation. Um, uh, it's about the detailing and the learning course on software engineering and the architecture using business process modeling notation. Please, uh, Sérgio Moraes, uh, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Oh, yes. Thank you. Can you start, please? Yes, okay. I share the screen. Okay, just one minute. Okay, can you see? Yes, yes, thank you. Uh, hello, good afternoon. I'm Sarah Moraes and I'm going to present the Telium and Learning course on software engineer and architecture using business process model notation on the DKMN. This paper was developed by me and Daniela Pedrosa, Mario Fontes, José Cravino and Leonel Morgado with the scope of the Square Program Project. Um, Um, okay. And uh, this pres the presentation will be in six sections: an uh, introduction, why BPNN, exemplary cases in BPNN, discussion, conclusion, and the future works. Well, uh, planned educational process is the key of for effective course preparation. However, most educational plan content of syllabus not hinder explicit activities expected of teachers and students throughout the semester, even though that's what really matters and leads to learning. So a course a cool plan has revised laying out the expected actions from all stakeholders teachers and students and information systems. To handle the necessary online context, different, different dynamics and the interactions are needed. To achieve this goal, BPMN shows us an adequate pedagogical approach. But why BPMN? Uh, these annotations handle explicit interactions, communications and the actions. Enable reflection upon it to ident identify problem targets, bottlenecks, workloads, decision making with insufficient information, unforeseen tasks, etc. It enables exposing rules and interactions of stakeholders with learning activities to for answers questions such as why is it done, by whom, where, when. How is it performed? It's using modeling and innovation learning process aims to facilitate their development and maintenance. The literature provides a diverse exa of examples. Plain software engineer hands on classes for mature and appraisal process on anal analysis, analyze interactions and activities in learning process, or visual visualize training for training sessions in web environments. And the course context uh, of this work is the course Soft Development Laboratory, LGS Portuguese Language Chrome, has a one asynchronous and learning format in the Moodle platform. The course takes place in the second semester of the second years of the informatics Engineering undergraduate program of Universidade Aberta, Portugal, over 12 academics a week. Its goal is to for the undergraduates in their transition from, from vice programmers into a proficient programmer, pursued over uh, six top syllabus. 
BP, BPMN modeling has all the unexpected complexities and apparently simple tasks in the LDS course. Here, here we present two exemplar cases. Uh, the first case is viewing a slideshow, and the case two is discussing the syllabus. Now I will uh, present the first case. The slideshow is possible as playing a situation as anyone could be expected in learning. In learning. The course provides it, students watch it, uh, and the teacher checks progress and the learning situation is complete. However, process analysis has a more complex reality. The slide presents this activity in BPMN focusing on the teacher's activities. There are in all 16 activities distributed between teacher, the, the learning management platform, and the students. The planning view is, is reflected by the leftmost activities. The students watch the slideshow. The learning platform collects data on these, generate graphics and reports, and the teachers view them. Firstly, Students must be encouraged to view the slideshow in, ca in case they haven't already. This takes place over two weeks, a peri period during which two encouragement show the occur. First, after five days before the first weekend, and the second, two days before the end of the period, as a final personalized effort to encourage participation. From the teacher's perspective, perspective, there's two specific moments involving a specific workload. This emerges from the BPMN diagram as a moment to reserve appropriate time and avoid forgetting. For the, uh, the diagram includes a large task in this, those moments, developed of motivation action uh, to the student's visualization. Those motivational actions are diverse and may include, for example, uh, monitoring view patterns, comparing them with individual students' class participation habits, considering other parallel tasks in the same course for the same period. The BPMN has framed the scope of these tasks as that occur between set reminders, clarifying for, for the teacher's reflection and planning needs that it involves. Now, I will be present the case two. The syllabus provide goals, content, deadline, assessment methods, and study workload plan for the semester. All students are required to debate it, for clarification or changes. None such, such interactions is a demand task for the teacher, having to track all students' posting or lack thereof, establish whether feedback and encouragement are required or not. All this need the teacher time and attention. Since all students should discuss Participation track is, is geared toward issuing alerts and provide context relevant data and the activity support to different stakeholders. Most students will not participate right away. However, if no students participate at all, this will be discouraging. For, so, for the first few days, the teachers focus on the overall participation level. If it remains long, it shows a global encouragement. Near the weekend, primary students still the time. If global participation remains low, a remainder is appropriate. By Monday, uh, on second day week, the teacher checks for participants that have not yet acted and sends them individual encouragement messages. As the fi final weekend nears, the final opportunity for timely participation in the activity, 
The teacher should escalate and send personalized message to inactive students. Throughout, the teacher analyzes participating data to decide on the, on the course of the action. We identify three continual data analysis tasks, overall participation, individual participation, and queries feedback need. A fourth data analysis, uh, analysis text, task occurring in the day 12. In order to provide personalized feedback, the teacher must analyze each non-participant individual's state, status, and history. And about the, our discussion, uh, the use of the use BPM and help us to verify which gaps in the organically uh, situations where decisions had to be made, but no explicit teacher action was first seen beforehand in similar situations. Identify which data must be collected in order to make those decisions. Identify shortcomings in the early outcome of the traditional course planning. Check with more rigor the teacher workload required to maintain the intended pedagogical intervention quality of the planned course activities. Also, this clarity perspective on the teacher workload can empower teachers to adjust the efforts or develop customized tools to support that workload. About our conclusion, the use of BPM can help us to reveal the activities of the various parties involved in the course, teachers, students, and technological platform. Verify aspects, tasks, and workload often implied, not explicit. Identify and define concrete occasions for critical interventions. When to provide specific, individual, or any encouragement feedback, and which data to support that is available for the teachers and from the platform. And the clarification of the process uh, that occurred enable us to design strategies to promote self-regulation and co-regulation, identifying recurrent intervention, their opportunity, and that they involve parties. And for the future works, ref reflecting upon this experience using BPMN, we are considering its potential as a tool for, uh, for identifying specific alternative for better teaching action. It may provide a significant contribution to one didactic and operational re-engineer, of course, and toward more adequate, more, more effectivity educational plan. We are also considering its potential to support the implementation of self-regulation and the self-regulation and co-regulation strategies by supporting students' academic participation and the student planning, which contribute to our success. Thus, we suggest expanding this work by using BPMN to specify higher-order educational tasks, more complex and demand at the cognitive and operational levels that they, the ones present here in. Thank for your attention. Thank you, sir, for your presentation. Thank you. Does anyone have a question? Uh, Tiago Gaziba, please. Okay, uh, so it's... Um, I, it's um, a very basic question because I'm not uh, um, not into the topic of PPMN. So maybe you could elaborate a little bit. Why did you choose uh, PPMN uh, uh, in contrast to other uh, alternative like UML? Okay, uh, because it, it, we understand that the educational pr process is similar to business process, and PPMN is to business process, right? 
since they had tasks, deadlines, communication between those involved, interaction between people and tools, and with BPMN, it is possible to make all these representations. And it is the, the it's because of this we chose the BPMN. Okay, thanks. Uh, I have one question. Um, uh, I think uh, business process modeling notation is a great uh, tool to organize, systematize, and um, uh, make a good um, planning of uh, structure course. Uh, I, I think so. Uh, but uh, I think you need to use this tool in the point of view of the teachers. Um, do you think to also use this tool to to the students better understand the workflow process of the, the learning process? Uh, yes, two is uh, in the context uh, the project program. Uh, now our intent is the vision for, of the teacher. But not in fact to um, modeling it to uh, uh, view for the students. Uh, yes, I think this uh, could be a great tool also uh, to students better understand the um, the, the course in the entire uh, plan, the, the, the workflow of the um, of a global course structure. Uh, it's a good tool, I think, to to, uh, to a better um, comprehension of students, of the, the whole thing. Mm. Uh, so uh, I have another, uh, another question. You said um, uh, business process molding revealing unexpected complexity in apparently simple tasks. Uh, this is not uh, a little contradictory with the, the benefits expected. Um, I'm curious about it. Ah, okay, uh, it's a merge. Uh, the, these uh, uh, we want to say with this. <laughs> The sentence is, uh, we think the teacher's task is very simple, uh, like uh, verify if the student uh, uh, did a, te a, a task or visualize a uh, slideshow, but it emerges a complex task that uh, about uh, the teacher's uh, verify diarily or day by day the involvement of uh, your students, your your class, your course, and because we write this this sentence, né, uh, the BPMN show the complexity or show us the complex tasks in simple tasks. Yes, yes, I think complexity is about uh, the, the detail, uh, but the, the, the benefits clearly is uh, greater uh, than this, um, this complexity uh, according to the, 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 the task's details. Uh, I think it's, um, and it makes a very good um, notion of the whole thing. It's, I think it's about it. So, uh, any question? No. Thank you, Sarah, for your uh, great Thank presentation. You very much, teacher Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, we move on to the second the communication. Uh,